All right, so let's take a look at the, so this is the Pixel 3a XL in its case. And we also have the Pixel 4a in its case. Google's starting to have nice little options to open their packaging, which is nice. This one's a little more brightly colored than the previous one. So you can see size-wise, 3A XL is a little bit larger physically than the 4A 5G, even though the 4A 5G has a bigger screen. A little different internally as well, so here you see the 4A 5G, and here is the 3A, it says 3A, but this is a 3A XL. So you can see in the about phone it says Pixel 3A XL. And that was the case, of course, for it. Same deal with this one. It just slides right in there. Fits nice and snug. Obviously, it's a Pixel phone with a Pixel product, you know, Pixel case. Cut out for the headphone jack. Button still works. Volume is just this raised indent here, and it works just fine. And plenty of, beat, plenty of room for your USB-C access. And plenty of room for your fingerprint. You put them side by side like this. You can see it's just a hair taller on the 3A XL width. They're about the same, really. I know it's hard to tell from this angle, but run this across. I mean, it's maybe a little taller on the 3A XL. Now, for me, I like a physically larger phone, but this is not going for me. This is going for my mother, who is going to have much smaller hands than me. All right, so that's the cases. You can tell this one's uh, I've had it since it came out. It's got a little dirty, I guess, but it's held up pretty well. So let's compare the two pixels to each other here. See, they're pretty similar. I mean, obviously, they're those pixels, so they should works just fine. Fingerprint sensor works great on both. Both of them have updates available. I've set the display settings to be basically the same. 4A 5G is here and the Pixel 3A XL is here. Now this one's not been set up of course. I'm switching from one to the other. Slide to the left here. You have same shenanigans. I changed it to the three piece bottom here. I don't like gestures. As you can see, you both the display settings are set to the same. This is the 4A 5G of course and this is the 3A XL. Font size on both is set to largest. Display size is set to large. So you can see how they kind of compare to each other. These are the pixel cases, the same type of case from each one. I do like these cases. This would be my color choice, of course. This is for my mother. I was a big fan of the look of the 3A XL. I still am, I think that's a cool look. This is all the same material. I think it's all plastic, but they polish this to be a matte and then shiny up here. And of course, it's a fingerprint magnet, but it's a cool look. I do like this square camera, but I do like this little look they have up here better. The camera, of course, will be better with the newer one. But they look pretty similar. You can see how well this is held up. I mean, it's been in this case the whole time, so it's been, it's been protected. I can see there was no color on this button, but this one did have a white or maybe even a lavender look to it. Looks white to me, but someone in the comments said it was lavender. Up top, I'm going to turn the dark mode off just so you can see the difference in screen real estate. You know, they're basically lined up at this point. So I have a level down here to measure them even with each other. I think it is. The 3A XL is taller, but the screen real estate is actually bigger on the 4A 5G. So if we even them up, I'm just eyeballing it here. You can see how much more screen real estate you're getting with the 4A 5G. And it goes all the way up to the top, whereas this one still has that blacked out area up here. Now, personally, I wish it was physically, this was physically as large as this one and had the screen maxed out because I like a big phone and like a big screen. My daily driver is the Note. You can see how much gigantic, yeah, this is the Note 20 Ultra. You can see how much bigger that is, of course. Now, of course, it costs substantially more than either one of these phones. Both of them together don't cost as much as the Note. So they're both on Wi-Fi now. Let me restart this one. Let me turn off. So I'll turn Wi-Fi off on both of these. This is the 3A XL. It currently has a SIM card in it. This one doesn't. This one door. This is my Note 20 Ultra. It should also have a 5G speed in here. People have told me not to do this side by side, but I'm going to do it anyhow. I'm in Louisville, Kentucky, but I'm in the basement of my house, and you will get uh, 5G coverage here. Sometimes the city has plenty of 5G coverage, but in my basement, sometimes I just get LTE. So, you know, nothing amazing here. I'm actually getting better speeds on the LTE here. But you can see my results. Sometimes you get pretty legit, by, like here, 163 on 5G, 274 on 5G. So, you know, occasionally, it hits pretty good on 5G, but most of the time it does not. Once this guy comes back on, I'm gonna switch to LTE over here and we'll do a little speed test action on that. And this one obviously has this update to go. So let's restart this one. So you can see this is Android 11. All right, so now we're gonna get the newest update. I haven't been using this phone, that's why it's not been updated. So you can see the 4A 5G is on the February 5th update. The 3A XL is also on the 4A on the February 5th update, and then the much more expensive Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is on the January 1st update. All right, now I have it updated on the eSIM. You can see it's 5G there. So this is the Pixel 4a 5G, of course. Let's run a speed test, and it does say 5G. So let's see if it gets a better speed than before. No, I dropped down to LTE. 
Here's a Pixel 3A XL, so about the same speeds we're getting, but I'm in the basement of my house in Louisville, Kentucky, so it doesn't seem to work here. Uh, I'll go out in the drive for a minute, we'll see if we can get some 5G speeds on it. But I do have, you know, like I said, I have 5G on this phone and a couple other phones. It always works pretty great. All right, so I'm in my Jeep, we're in a different part of town. This is the Pixel 4A 5G with no Wi-Fi, we're just on 5G. But like I said, we're in a totally different part of town than my other tests, so let's uh, Simon be not happy. Hey there, Simon. So you can see the five it is hitting 5G here and it got you know a spike and went back down. So I don't know. Alright, so 35 down and like seven and a half up. Not bad. Nothing major difference there, but it is on 5G this time you can see. And that's with the eSIM. And seven is not happening. Alright, thanks for checking this out.